bruv, you are having a bubble. What's going on guys and welcome to an amazing 60k hybrid squad builder I'm bringing you on my channel and today is a hybrid squad builder which includes a bit of pace, players with skills and a great defence so if you want to pick three players for the next hybrid squad builder leave them in the comment section below and I'll build a team around them and hopefully it'll get me using new players that I haven't used before and also let me know if you want these to be expensive hybrid squad builders or affordable squads as most people these days on YouTube just out squad builders with the crazy team of the year players that not everybody can afford which is a shame but moving on to the team now in goal we do have Petr Cech who is Chelsea's goalkeeper and he's in here for chemistry reasons only he's a decent keeper nothing special nothing too bad he just does his job to be fair and he was one of the most expensive players in this team costing 9k as he is in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation and moving on to the left back we have Patrick Van Anholt who is a decent left back, but again, only in here for chemistry reasons. Three star skills, does the job there. And now we move on to the beast, who is Thomas Callas, who actually is a Chelsea player in real life, while he's only on loan to this team here. I've used him before on a Dutch league side, and he was absolutely amazing, so it was great to fit him in this hybrid here. And as you can see from his in-game stats, he does have 80 stand tackle, 82 sprint speed, and 84 strength for silver, which is pretty amazing. And I can't wait to pair up with David Luiz when he gets his Chelsea version. But we're going to move on to the right centre-back now, who is one of my favourite centre-backs in the Premier League. And that is Laurent Cascione, who plays for Arsenal. Pretty underrated card, should be higher in my opinion, definitely faster than that too. And he's amazing in this game, got crazy heading, as you can see there from that corner kick. He just out-jumps everyone and bangs it in the net. He does that when winning headers also in the box too, so he's definitely a great player to use. And moving on to his right-back partner, it is Bakary Senya from the same team. Arsenal as that does give him the 9 chemistry link and Asanya has taken a bit of a downgrade in pace over the years as he did break his leg twice in real life which is a shame but on this game he's pretty amazing as he does have medium attack work rate and high defensive work rate so he stays back and his pace is not a problem. Anyway for the CDM spot we have Fernando from Porto who is a pretty all round beast midfielder as you can see there but 83 defending on a non-rare, 86 slide tackling, 88 stand tackling which is pretty crazy for a non-rare CDM like him. And then for the right mid to partner him up, we have Calvin, who is from the same team, same nation, so that gives him a nine chemistry link straight away, which is awesome, and he's probably the best Brazilian five-star skiller. As a right mid, as he is left-footed and could cut in and shoot like this. Anyway, let me know if you like the clips like this in the video, or do you prefer them all at the end with music, because that's what most YouTubers do these days. Anyway, the left mid of the team is Gary mckay Steven from Dundee United. He has four star skill, oh, five star skill, sorry, and four star weak foot. And he's got a pretty decent goal here for me, uh, taking on a few players, makes that player look absolutely silly there. Scoop turns David Luiz and shoots with his weak foot to score the goal, which is pretty sick. And I definitely recommend trying him out as he is pretty cheap. I think he cost me like 2,000 coins in the 4 2 1 2 formation. But now we move on to the man of the team. And if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I'm a huge Ronaldinho fan. And if I can fit him in a team, he goes in a team. It's as simple as that. And he may lack pace, but who gives a fuck when he can shoot like that? An absolutely crazy goal there. Well, not a crazy goal, just a decent long shot, sorry. And once again, who needs pace when you can just skill people like this and finish it beautifully like that? He's just an amazing player, and if you haven't tried Ronaldinho just because he lacks pace, you're definitely missing out, as he is a fun player to use. And this goal here was against Rob Hodgson. That was a lovely pass there by Pato, and a nice finish by Ronaldinho. And then onto the right striker of the team, it is Alexandre Pato. He doesn't really need an introduction, to be fair. He's a pacey four-star skiller who finishes with ease, as you can see from the clips here. That's a nice pass from Ronaldinho. Pato just using his pace to get past the player and then slotting it into the back of the net with ease like that. And it's just fun using him, to be fair, even though he's a pace-abusing player. But he can even finish with his left foot like that as he does have four-star weak foot. And once again, that pass here from Ronaldinho was just crazy. And Pato is just there to just slot it away past the keeper from outside the box. A pretty nice finish there. And now to the left striker, who is a silver again. And it is Big Gary's partner, who is Johnny Russell. I think he's moved away from Dundee United now and gone to Derby County. But he's got 90 pace, 78 dribbling and 75 heading, which is pretty amazing. Ronaldinho there again with a three ball. Definitely the man of the team for me. Russell here. Winning the ball back from the defender and slotting it past the keeper there, decent finish. And once again, a through ball here to Russell, using his pace, just getting past the defender and using his crazy 80 shot power to just smash it past the keeper. Far post that was, not near post, which is pretty decent. 
And then again, he's a fucking amazing player from corners. I'm not joking. He'll score you a lot of corners for some reason. He's five foot ten, but wins a lot of headers. Anyway, that is the end of the squad builder. That is the team. I hope you do enjoy it and go and build it yourself. Let me know what you think of it if you do go and build it, as it is a pretty decent team. I won. 10 out of the 11 games I played with it and that's a pretty decent record I think so yeah if you did enjoy the video leave a like don't forget to leave three player suggestions for the next episode and I will see you for my next video cheers